Hey everyone, Dr. Jason West with the Chronic Fatigue Insights. We're talking tonight about the three main causes of chronic fatigue. Like there's an infection component, there's a burnout component, there's a hormone component, and some ideas and insights of what to do about it if you're chronic fatigue. So let's talk about burnout, number one. So burnout is the, you know, apathy. It's just burning the candle at both ends. It's just people being way too tired. And so one of the recommendations for that is like, we got to get our body on a schedule. Getting up at the same time, I think is the most important component, eating healthy and alive foods, and then doing some mineral supplementation, some vitamin supplementation, and some natural hormone precursors. So I think this is one of the forgotten arts in healthcare is actually getting the organ systems to repair. And primarily it's the adrenal gland, it's the thyroid, it's the pineal gland, and then it's it's either testes for male and or ovaries and, and, and the whole pelvic system for females. Now, this is not a prescription medicine approach. Matter of fact, I think this really helps the prescriptions to work better. And sometimes it's a consideration for people that either can't afford or are, are not able to take prescriptive medicines. It's a way to help the body to recover. So it's all about natural hormone precursor. So it's like giving the body two by fours and plywood and sheetrock to remodel a house. So there's things that you can do for the thyroid gland, you know, such as magnesium. Um, obviously iodine is a key component of that essential fatty acids. And there's actually a special type of glandular that, that basically is components of animal thyroid it's not like nature thyroid. It's not armor thyroid. It's, it's basically the amino acid precursors that help your body to make healthy uh, hormone. Now I've been using this for 21 years inside the office. It's something, a secret that my dad shared with me. So the glandular, there's a lot of places to get it. If you'd like to know more information about that, we created a whole workshop called the chronic fatigue workshop, where we talk about dosages and sources and stuff like that. If you need those resources. Now, let's also talk about, um, so that's for burnout. If you're, if you're burnout, we want to make sure that we know how to build up the system. Where we do a workup, we look at a complete blood cell count with auto differentiation, a metabolic panel, a T3, T4, TSH, looking at those blood tests and doing some hormone testing. Like that's a good place to start with fatigue burnout. I think a bigger cause of chronic fatigue is looking at is the immune system working, particularly the thymus gland and the spleen, and knowing what's happening with your white blood cell count. Because if you have a chronic infection that's not, you know, it's not enough to put you down and out, you know, sweating, fever, chills, in bed, it's, you're not in the hospital system, but there's so many people that, that get in, in a, an infection and then their body doesn't quite kick the infection. So it could be all of these different viruses, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, a West Nile virus, rhinovirus, adenovirus, like there's so many different viruses. And of course, you know, relating to the last two year problem that we've had, but also it can be other types of chronic infection markers, chronic staph infection, E. coli infection, a, a low grade gut infection. And so one of the best ways to help with chronic fatigue syndrome, myologic encephalopathy with this is the new terminology if your immune system isn't working, it's like literally someone plugged an extension cord in your body and it's just stealing your energy. One of the best ways to evaluate that, this blood cell count, looking at your white blood cells, seeing if your specific viral markers are responding that the way they're supposed to, balancing out your trace minerals, electrolytes and, and enzymes, looking at your vitamin D levels. Because if we give the body building blocks, I'm firmly convinced that you too can be an amazing success story. Like I don't think a chronic fatigue diagnosis is, is a death sentence. I believe that it's not always easy to solve, but, but so many times people respond by giving the right building blocks. So that's the second cause, chronic infection. The third one is invariably what happens when, with fatigue and burnout and infection is the body's looking for an energy source. And this is where I see a lot of, you know, less optimal lifestyle places occur because when people are tired, what do we look for? We look for a boost or a crutch. Is it caffeine? Is it sugar? Is it, um, um, 
chocolate? Is it tobacco? Is it, uh, you know, like there's so many different things. Is it stress? Is it drama? Um, is it food? Because everything's not balanced. The way that we can help with getting the hormones balanced with chronic fatigue is to make sure we know what the levels are. So doing some specific hormone testing, you know, a thyroid panel is a really good place to start. Looking at testosterone, a free testosterone, an estrogen, a, a progesterone, a DHA, a cortisol, like all of these things are really good places to evaluate. And then the way to help them is like, let's send in some ways to remodel the system. Like let's give the body building blocks to help the glands to heal. And sometimes it's a combination of all of them. Is it, is it burnout? I mean, people living on willpower and then they're like, you know what, I've just lost my ambition. I just don't feel, I do things because I have to not because I really want to, like I just had a couple of patients tell me that today. Another thing is looking at your markers. Like, have you had a chronic infection marker with, you know, reoccurring cold sores or a recent bout of shingles, or did you get Epstein-Barr when you were in high school or college and then it's still lingering at, at a low boil that's in your system? I, I see a fair amount of that. Is it just the organs burned out? Like you've been pushing so hard for so long that your thyroid and your adrenals just aren't catching up if those are considerations, the way to help is to balance inside the system. So I'd like to invite you, if you've been seeing our master classes, we have a phenomenal chronic fatigue workshop that you can pick up at drjasonwest.live. You're going to post the description inside of, of, the, of the description here. But it's a no-lose proposition. So I've created an ebook. I've created the recommendations. I go through all of the details and stuff like that. It's $27 to participate in the workshop, but here's how you can't lose. If you purchase the program, because I want to work with action takers, there's a huge bonus and they get all your money back. You either subtract it from an office visit or for a supplement recommendation program inside of a chronic fatigue workshop. So we go, what the, what's the cause? What do we do about it? What tests to work up? What are the recommendations that we've refined over the last 106 years for chronic fatigue? and myologic encephalopathy what are some of the advanced treatments and recommendations so i wanted to give some value on here's the here's the main causes you know infection burnout um, hormone insufficiency some considerations of how to help those what you can get outside in the market and then if you would like to go rocket ship this thing go faster you should check out our workshop at drjasonwest.live next week we're going to be talking about some other clinic tips and pearls on chronic fatigue syndrome, that unexplained, difficult to define diagnosis. We'll see you guys next week. It's Dr. Jason West. Hope you can get uh, some additional insight inside of our workshop. We'll see you later.